How are you? AJ Good here at the House of Masks. What is up with these weird fucking... Hi. Hey, how are you? Uh, <laughs> all right. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we do, in fact, unbox and review cool things almost every single day, but not today. Hopefully the traffic that's right outside this window isn't too loud and distracting, and hopefully the audio that's in this little room is not too terrible because it definitely sounds very echoey right now. If it is, I apologize. I promise I'm not going to talk long. So what's today's video about? So what's today's video about? Well, we're actually redoing the window at the storefront of the House of Masks. Is the House of Masks a store? Absolutely not. Do we have a giant window? We do. Has that window looked pretty boring for quite some time now? It has. But I had a lot of inside projects to take care of, but the weather's getting nicer, there's a lot of downtown action going on, and I'd like to get Chillicothe something new and cool to look at. So the House of Masks has kind of become like a legend around downtown. It's definitely popular. Not a lot of people from Chillicothe have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, although there are some. Shout out Matt Day. So when people walk by here, you can hear all sorts of whispers of what they think's going on on the inside, or they actually know exactly what's going on on the inside. And if I had a recording of every person that came and took a picture with this Michael Myers back there, we could have a video of that by itself. I think it's pretty cool. I like seeing people walk by and be intrigued, but the window itself has been pretty boring for a long time. Pretty much since I moved in, we kind of just had it set up as like a good enough. I had some jack-o'-lanterns along the front with some lights. I had the Myers. I have a sign that tells people where they can see exactly what we're doing in here, and then just some other random stuff. There were black sheets, pretty boring, but I'd like to spice it up. Like I said, there's been a lot of activity downtown, and I just want to give the people something cool to look at. So, I had this idea, why not make some sort of vintage costume shop display? Make it look like a literal vintage costume shop. You just did a U-turn, I'm calling the police. So that is what we are going to do. Obviously, I've got some shelves up already. I brought these in yesterday, didn't record it, didn't even know that I was going to be making a video on this, but I figured the topic is pretty cool and it might be a decent process to watch. So I just ran around between my dad's, the old apartment, and my old house and grabbed a bunch of vintage style masks. Nothing too gruesome or crazy, I'm not trying to scare people, but everything in the lot is era accurate to what I'm trying to accomplish here. So we're gonna clean these shelves, get everything nice and evened out, get some masks and some other little props set up, and it should be pretty cool when it's done. So when we are done, I will give you guys a before and after shot of everything. I've already seen these shelves in the blue light at nighttime, and it looks fucking awesome. That was the dad of my first girlfriend that drove by, and there's a giant dent in the back of his car because I got in a fight with some guy at a gas station and uh, I hit his head off of the trunk of the car. Pretty badass, I know. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into a time lapse, get these cleaned, straightened up, get everything set up. And by everything, I mean it's not going to be done today, but we should be close enough for a video. And yeah, that'll be that. So now that we've got the shelves all cleaned off and even, it's time to start decorating them. And as I mentioned, I'm going for a vintage style costume shop look, which means that we need era accurate masks. So there's good news and there's bad news that comes along with that. Now the masks that we're setting out here are pretty much being sacrificed. Obviously this little window area holds a lot of heat in the summertime and it's very bright because of the sun. So the masks that we're gonna use are definitely not going to make it. Now the good news that comes along with that is that I'm able to use a lot of masks that are already not in the best shape, some that I found at thrift stores, others that have been sent in for Mailbox Monday, and other vinyl masks that I have many copies of. Obviously vinyl doesn't rot, so the vinyl masks are going to do the best in here, but I figured it would be pretty cool to actually use some of the fan scent masks that might not be in the best shape already. That way people are getting back what they're sending in. People could literally walk by and see a mask that they sent into the House of Masks being used as the window for the House of Masks. So, time to decorate. All right, 
Well, due to some technical difficulties, and by technical difficulties I mean I just accidentally deleted these clips, you guys did not get to see a lot of the progress of putting all this stuff on the shelf. So I'm going to give you just a, like a real quick glance at everything, and then I had an idea to go check this uh, shop to see if they have any little Halloween-y type items. They're right next door, Chillicothe Antique Emporium, super, super cool. So we're going to head over there and see what they've got, see if we can keep filling these shelves. So far, I think it's looking pretty pretty good. All the masks seem to work out. All these little props and goodies seem to work out. Most of them are vintage-esque, very like 50s to 70s and 80s type stuff. But then we've got some other little fun items in here that are very House of Masks like the Goosebumps and the Bone Chillers. And uh, we've got like Tales from the Crypt. Put my Dan Howes and mask in here. We've even got some Jimmy Buffett drumsticks that my buddy Gabe gave me. They don't really go along with this stuff, but I feel like they fit in, and I'm a drummer, and it's funny, and it's from Gabe, so I threw them in there. But uh, yeah, we started lining the bottom with masks as well. They're not like on stands or anything yet, but they will be at some point, so yeah. We got some jacks. Those light up, of course, and it looks super, super cool to have all of the orange accent lights once these blue lights from the outside are on at nighttime, so. That is where we stand so far. I definitely think that it looks cool, and once we get some more stuff for the little in-between shelves, we can pretty much call this thing done. So, off to the Chillicothe Antique Emporium. Let's go. So unfortunately, there wasn't too much Halloween stuff out. Nothing really clowny. Here's my mailman, Nathan. He wants to be in the video. <laughs> and uh, all I ended up finding was this Circleville Pumpkin Show Coke, like 75th annual thing. Pumpkin Show's a pretty big deal around here. Circleville is one town ahead, and uh, I actually used to stay there a lot. So. Uh, I kind of like that, like the vintage look, and I think that it's going to fit on the shelves correctly. But this kind of makes me want to go out to a couple other antique shops around here and just see what we can find. So maybe I'll end up doing that. If I do, I will uh, obviously film the progress. But for right now, we've got a pretty good grip on everything that's happening with this window, and I think that it's looking amazing. So when it gets dark and I can turn these blue lights on and get it real atmospheric, I will check back in and give you guys uh, like an updated view on everything as a whole. But for right now, Brent from Brent's Bricks is on his way over and we are going to go shoot some good life content. So I'll check back in as soon as I possibly can and we will see where we're at. All right, here we are at night with the blue light. As you can see, we've got these light ups up top. That one's just not on for some reason. Don't really understand that, but whatever. Got another little guy down there. And clearly, still very unfinished. I've just come to the realization over the last few days that maybe I've bitten off a little more than I can chew to uh, get this video out in a timely manner. So. so we're just gonna show this to you guys right now as it is and keep working on it as I go. Definitely cool 
definitely spooky. I'm super stoked about it. I'm gonna walk outside here in just a second and show you guys everything from the outside so you'll get to see what the people walking along the street are going to see. But essentially what we've got going on here is mask shelf full of masks, obviously. Then we do a break. We have another mask shelf down here. We're gonna do another break, mask shelf right here. And then the alternating shelves are just gonna have cool little Halloween knickknacks. As I kind of showed you guys a little bit earlier, they definitely look sweet on there. There'll be a few light up pieces tossed in throughout just to kind of accent everything. And then the top shelf here, I wanna do just a bunch of different light up pieces as well as kind of store looking pieces. So we've got this Freddy glove up here that my buddy Joshua Warren gave me. We've got an old Topstone new skin up there. And then there's also going to be some not so Halloween-y stuff stuck in here that just kind of ties in with my channel a little bit. Obviously we've got a liquid death. I want to add like a fallen shoe. I pointed out the goosebump stuff earlier. We even have a little Tim Hortons hat on this guy right there. So everything's looking good. Mr. Myers over there, still got the headstone. We've got my little information board right here, and then we've just got this nice display. I'm really, really stoked with how this is turning out. So let's step outside, I'll show it to you out there, and we will call this finished for now. Whenever I do finally get everything completely done, I will give you guys an updated video, and if you guys would like to donate anything that you feel is going to fit into here, just send it to my P.O. box, that'd be super, super cool. Obviously, I will unbox it on Mailbox Monday and give you guys credit. So, let's step outside, take a look, and that will be today's video. There we have it. How fucking sick does that look? Now, obviously, aside from finishing all these shelving units and getting everything nice and complete as far as the shelves themselves go, I would also like to get another mannequin of some sort, do some sort of life-size display over on this side to kind of accent and balance out the fact that we have Mr. Myers over there. But other than that, I'd say that my window is pretty much done. Maybe throw some stuff up on this side as well. And uh, yeah, looks super fucking rad. I think everybody in Chillicothe is really gonna dig this. I've already gotten really good feedback from my neighbors and from patrons and other people that have seen this online. So super, super stoked with it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. It did not turn out the way that I wanted it to. I lost a lot of cool footage of me bringing all this stuff in and kind of talking a little bit about that, but it is what it is. And I think that the update video will be even better. So here is to the future. All right, guys, so until next time, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol. And we'll see you guys later.